Hi, I'm Ed Chung. Again, I have been years, and I'm also an internal medicine physician, creating a series of videos. This is video 6.2, and of all the videos, this is the one you probably want to watch the most, uh, where I'm going to talk about temporary drugs that block the symptoms of Meniere's. Um, these are all the classic medications that are given by physicians for uh, Meniere's during an attack. And so, um, these are all temporary drugs to be taken, not regularly, but temporarily. They don't treat the underlying cause of Meniere's. However, they do help with the symptoms of the, of the vertigo and the spinning. It does not do much for the tinnitus. Um, so, so the temporary drugs that block the symptoms of Meniere's or the vertigo um, are broken into sort of three large categories. Number one, the motion sickness drugs. Uh, the second medications, second group of medications are the nausea and vomiting drugs, and the third medications are sort of the anti-anxiety or benzodiazepine type drugs that calm the nerves. So going to the first, again, um, as I said in the first introduction for the, for the medication series, um, I'm going to talk primarily w naming the uh, generic or scientific names because there's multiple, multiple, multiple different brand names that are, are named by the companies who make them. Okay, So going to the first section, the motion sickness drugs, uh, they're primarily composed of meclizine, okay? and what the meclizine does is it directly acts on the inner ear to decrease the information that the brain receives. Uh, it is very drying, um, and an example of this would be um, this little pink pill right here, it's called mec meclizine. You buy it over the counter. Uh, it may not be pink, it may be yellow, maybe white, it depends on the generic brand maker. Like for example, this one's made by, uh, the one I, uh, I bought over the counter is called by Rugby, and it's called Travel, Travel Sickness Pill, okay? I mean, they decided not even to give it a, a, a brand name, but it's called Meclizine, okay? And they come in 25 milligram tablets, M-E-C-L-I-Z-I-N-E. Um, it's sort of it, the other brand names that may be out there you might hear are Antivert, uh, it's very classic, Bonamine, Dismiss, Motion Cure, Bonamine, or there's probably five or ten other different ones out there also, but the scientific name is called Meclizine. Again, it directly acts on the inner ear to decrease information the brain receives. Um, my personal experience with it is that it's very, very drying, it leaves me in a fog, it makes you very, very sleepy, but it helps some with when you have a very, very severe vertigo attack. Um, so that's the first med in the motion sickness drugs. The second one is uh, dimenhydrinine, hydronate, dimenhydrinate. Uh, basically, it's an antihistamine. Um, it's very commonly called Dramamine, Calmex, Tegavert, Nauseal, Nausetrol. Um, this is an antihistamine. Now, an antihistamine has these called anticholinergic properties where they work on sort of the central nervous system areas. Again, it they have these side effects of being very, very drying, but at the same time what they do is they sort of decrease the amount of information that the brain receives, and they're all very, very, um, they make you very, very sleepy. The third ma major medicine in the motion sickness drugs is, is, is um, diphenhydramine, okay? Diphenhydramine is called Benadryl. I mean, Q-Drill, uh, Benadryl, Benadin, Banopin, there's a whole bunch of other like brand names out there, but I mean, this is the liquid form of it. Again, comes in like, you know, this is a liquid form, like 12 and a half, 25, 50 milligram dosings of it. Relatively safe to take. Uh, again, all these are over the counter. Um, it's an antihistamine, very drying, sedating. People actually do take this to help you sleep. In fact, if you take any of these uh, cough and cold medicines that they sell out there, NyQuil PM and stuff like that, the main medications that make you help you, that make people sleep, are the antihistamines that are in there, either diphenhydramine, diamenhydrinate, <coughs> any of those medications. Um, they again, I've taken them before. They sort of help again with a little bit of the vertigo. I, I don't find them that helpful, personally. But again, each person is different. The fourth medication in the motion sickness drugs um, is actually a patch. It's called the scopolamine patch. Um, and the, the, again, the scientific name is called scopolamine. It's 1.5 milligrams. This one's called a transderm scope, transderm X. Uh, basically, it's a three-day patch. You peel it off. It has a little sticky about this big. You stick it behind your ear 
on whatever side that's that's giving you problems uh, has the same side effects as the antihistamines very drying a little bit sedating not as sedating as the other ones but um, I'm just gonna warn you that you do have a little of um, pupil dilation on that same side um, because of the anticholinergic and, and the antihistamine sort of effects um, on that side and on top of that you're gonna have a very 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 dry mouth on that one side after about a day to two days um, I find this thing so drying that I have to take it off I, I can't tolerate it anymore however I do have to say for me personally I find this um, scopolamine patch extremely extremely helpful um, because it doesn't necessarily get rid of the dizziness um, for me however what I do sense or feel with it it makes you sort of um, pulled back from the sensation of, of, of the dizziness and makes the, the sense of vertigo and the spinning not as severe. Uh, this is actually the classic patch that they give on cruise ships for people who get motion sick or seasick. Okay. So those are the main motion sickness drugs. Again, meclizine, diphenhydramine, scopolamine. Now the next big, big group of medicines are called the nausea or vomiting drugs. Okay, And these are primarily composed of uh, phenergan, which unfortunately I don't have any here with me to show you. Um, but it comes in a liquid IV form or oral form. I find um, the Phenergan, if you need to, it, it needs to be given by prescription, somewhat helpful, especially during an acute attack. It feels almost like a scopolamine, and again, it makes it doesn't make the dizziness and nausea go away, but it, it's like disinhibiting, meaning that you sort of feel a little distanced from the nausea and the vertigo. Um, it is very, very sedating, and it makes you sort of feel a little off, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the next me medicine under the nausea and vomiting drugs are compazine or, uh, uh, or uh, cl called chlorpromazine. Okay? It's called compazine or chlorazine. That's a weaker nausea medicine. Uh, another medicine uh, that's called reglan or metaclopramide. Uh, this is the one I have, metaclopramide. Uh, these usually, the compazine is usually a little yellow one. The metaclopramide is a little green one. They're tiny little tablets. They only last about three to four hours. They're very mild, not anti-nausea medicines. They're not very sedating. They work somewhat. somewhat. Another one is called trimethylbenzamine, um, uh, or Tigand. Uh, it looks exactly like this green pill, tiny little one, works just like compazines. But the main medicine under the nausea and vomiting drugs that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely have to recommend to you and that you need to get a prescription for and you need to keep on hand uh, is called Ondansetron, O-N-D-A-N-S-E-T-R-O-N, Ondansetron, brand name in the United States called Zofran, um, Emetron, Ondamet, um, basically, again, Ondansetron is the scientific name right here, Ondansetron, um, comes in these little 10 milligram, ta four, sorry, 4 milligrams or 8 milligram tablets, um, see this is another Ondansetron, also by a different generic maker, Ascend, um, and basically, these little tablets, they're just tiny, these tiny little white pills. I'm not even bother showing you these tiny white pills. These things are like a miracle nausea medicine drug. I mean, literally, these things were, were initially created for uh, and given for chemotherapy side effects, and they work quite well. Now, with Meniere's, this will not actually stop the vertigo attacks, will not do anything for the spinning, but it does work pretty well for the the uh, nausea centers and it actually works they're called 5-HT uh, antagonists and they're very potent they work directly against the vagal nerve which is the main nerve in here that sort of causes or, or triggers sort of the nausea centers in the center of the brain again does not do anything for the vertigo and the spinning but helps mar markedly for the nausea um, if you're having a very severe attack it's not gonna it not, may not get rid of the nausea completely but it does help uh, again, I highly, highly, highly recommend asking your physician to get a, a prescription for it. Keep it on hand. Works works wonders for anything. Even if you get a stomach ache and you get um, seasick or, or, or nauseated from food poisoning, works well for that too. Uh, relatively safe, relatively low side effects. Now, the third last category that I'm going to talk to you about, about temporary drugs that block the symptoms, are all called the benzodiazepines. Now, these are all, I guess you're called category three drugs and that you need it. It's called a triplicate prescription for it because they have a high potential or not even a high but they have a potential for abuse and um, addiction. Um, basically they, what they do is they all, all these medicines they calm the nerves and they calm the nerve nerve potentials they're called um, 
uh, of the brain and they actually are sedating. You give these things actually to patients who have actual seizures. They actually work to calm the, the, the waveforms and the seizing waveforms. And, um, you know, I, I've taken them during their very, very severe attack and they work very well. They are very, very sedating. They do make you sleep. The, in fact, um, a lot of times they give these medicines for sleep for people who have really problems with deep sleep. So the four main categories are Dazepam or Valium, Diapam or Vitrol, so Diazepam. Next one's called Xanax. And the third one's called Lorazepam, Ativan, or Adzepam, or um, Clonazepam, or Clonopin. Okay, so the, I'm going to go through sort of briefly the little descriptions or subtleties between all these anti-anxiety drugs. They all work in the same way. Diazepam is actually probably, I should say, the most potent, but the longest acting of them. They usually come in about 10 milligram tablets. You can break them in 5 milligram tablets too. They last the longest, maybe about 8 to 12 hours. Pretty heavy sedating. It's called Valium Dazepam. Pretty common. Um, the next one's called Xanax or Alprazolam. I don't recommend this necessarily for the Meniere's. It's very short acting. Only lasts about 2 to 3 hours. It usually comes in 0.25 or 0.5 milligram dosings. And you usually give this type of medication for patients who have severe anxiety attacks or get anxious or nervous. It may help also with the Meniere's, but... Yeah, it's hard for me to recommend that because there's so many other medicines out there that are, I mean, other ones that are more potent. The next one is called lorazepam or Ativan or al Alzalprem. Um, it comes in this tiny little, little tablet. It's the half a milligram tablet. Works very, very, very well, just like the, uh, the Valium. Um, but it's a medium acting one, maybe about six hours of, of, of length of duration. Um, again, sedating works like the other ones. And then the last one is called Clonopin, which is the, the, the sort of right between the Ativan, it's like right below the Ativan as far as the strength. This little green tablet comes in one half one and two milligram tablets. Again, all these medications work the exact same way. One's not better than the other as far as the anti-anxiety medicines. I'm talking about this category group. The Diazepam, Alprazolam, Lorazepam, Clonazepam all work the same way. They all have the same effects. They all reduce the potentials and do have a pretty good success rate of, of sort of pushing down the um, severity of the, of the vertigo. Okay, so I hope those helped with the um, description of the temporary drugs to block the symptoms of years. Again, broken into three large categories, motion sickness drugs, uh, primarily the antihistamines, meclizine, scopolamine patch. Okay, the next ones are the nausea vomiting drugs. Again, the compazine, Tigan, Reglan, uh, but the primary one, again, I, I highly recommend that you get is the Zofran or the Ondansetron. And the last one, I do recommend um, any of these, uh, the Valium, the Ativan, the Clonopin. Again, they have high addictive, addictive potential. However, they do work very well. And, you know, if your doctor will not, should not have a problem giving you a short, small prescription, a couple tablets of those in case you do have an attack. Um, Next video, 6.3, uh, other meds.